Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I wanted to show you a simple and easy way you can use a wire for soft goods capes of your action figures. If you are a follower of this channel then you probably saw some of my posing videos in which I was able to make these soft goods look more dynamic. A lot of you guys were asking me how to do that and I finally found some time to make a kind of a quick tutorial video for this. And here we see two guys that uh, I've chose to help us with this tutorial. We have Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi, both 6 inch figures from Hasbro's The Black Series line. Now I'm someone who prefers soft goods capes and cloaks over plastic ones. I love to pose my action figures and although plastic capes and cloaks look really good for natural poses, most of the times they hinder the articulation of the figure. So I'm always happy to see when Hasbro or any of these companies decide to give us soft goods. And if you are like me and you would like to give your figures even more life on your display, it's always great to be able to make their capes and cloaks look like they are alive, so to say. It's great to be able to pose those soft goods like they are being blown to the side by a wind, or like they float in the air if a figure is in a jumping pose, or if the figure like a Jedi is swinging its lightsaber, you would maybe want the cloak or cape to follow that movement and look more natural like it would be in real life. Okay, so that's what I want to show you in this video. What is the easy way to do it and without stitching, without using any glue, none of that. Let's get started. So other than figures of course, what you need for this tutorial is a thin and bendable piece of wire, like this. You can find it in your local hardware store and uh, I have this metal bar and uh, a wire is uh, wrapped around it and so I can take any dimension of a wire that I want for my figure and just uh, cut it off. So ideally you will want to use a black piece of uh, wire because it won't be that visible on a figure. But if you can't find a black one, the silver one will do the job as well. So if you can, make sure that a wire is thin, not too thick, and that is pliable so that you can bend it easily and put it in any position that you would like. So let's start with our Dark Lord of the Sith here. Whenever you are trying to use a wire on uh, any of these figures, what you need to find is some kind of a spot where it would be best to insert that piece of wire and that won't be visible that much. So in my posing video of this Darth Vader figure, what I did is lifted up slightly his helmet and uh, now you see a gap down here. And that was a perfect place for me to insert this little piece of wire. And of course you want a wire to be, let's say, taller than your figure. What I did is I've put the middle of this wire underneath his helmet and then bend it like this and tuck it under his cape. Like this. And now you wrap it around like this and see now it's not visible and even if it is a little bit visible that is because we are using a silver wire but if you are using a black wire as I said that will make it even more hidden so see we already have a wire now underneath this cape and so now this is not attached to the cape it's not glued or anything but you can use it and play with it like this. And you have that on both sides. His uh, helmet still moves, so the wire is not hindering the articulation or anything. And if you want to make him like he's swinging his lightsaber and you want this cape to follow that movement, you can use that piece of wire. And maybe this wire should have been even longer because his cape is really huge. And so now we can get a pose like this. And obviously it's uh, flimsy, it needs much more work, but uh, this is like a pose in a few seconds and the cape is already flowing on the wind and he's like swinging with his lightsaber and the, the cape is following that movement to the side while the other side is also flowing on the wind. And I mean, if you use, as I said, a longer piece of wire, you can make the cape even more pliable 
to whichever pose you want, you know. So that's it for Vader's cape. And for Obi-Wan's cloak, you maybe also saw my posing video for this guy. And in that video I was also playing with a similar method to this one. And uh, I was able to make his uh, cloak float on the wind. Again, you can use a piece of wire and tuck it underneath his neck. But I don't think that that's a good solution for this figure. Because the gap is not as big as it is on Vader's helmet. And so, what you can do is either use this torso gap down here and insert wire. And when you close the gap, the wire won't be as visible. And so now, you have these two wire pieces in the back. And if you feel like it's flimsy and that uh, it will fall out, you can always twist the wire so that it intertwines like this. And now it's practically locked on his back. And this won't be visible, of course. So now you can use that wire for his cloak, like this. See? He's flying. And you can, you know, move it to the side. And the articulation is also not restricted. We still have that articulation point. And now we have a dynamic Kenobi with his cloak. Now, if this method also doesn't work for you, the other thing that you can do is take even longer piece of wire and then wrap it around both of his shoulders, like this, and uh, make a circle a few times, and then pull it over his back and around other shoulder, and also make a few circles. And so now you have this wire back like this and then we bring back his cloak and now wire is here on his back as you see here and uh, with a little bit of work you can hide it and now we have a wired cloak see it's really easy as i said no glue is needed no stitching anything like that this is a simple hack a simple way to use wire and to make soft goods more dynamic for your display and yeah that's the whole thing that's what i wanted to show you for this video i hope that this little quick uh, easy tutorial was uh, helpful to you i hope that uh, it will help you to spice up your display if it did let me know down in the comments i would really like to hear if uh, some of you have tried this method and uh, if it really did make the change for your display that's all i wanted to say in this video thank you all for watching thank you for being here and and I'll see you in the next one.